Hello everyone, welcome to my Kizik channel. Today we have the first video for our series for uh, solving statics problems. And today we have the general uh, the, the general start of any statics problem that you're gonna see that you'll have to solve it by using free body diagram. This video is all about free body diagrams and how to uh, solve any problem by using the free body diagram. Uh, so first of all, what is what you mean by free body diagram? We're basically trying to have to, to extract all the external forces that acts on the object. For the basic example that we have, uh, example one, let's say a man just standing like that. Uh, all what we want to do is remove anything that support or anything that uh, attached to the man, and we make it like by itself. So basically, now we don't have the ground, we don't have any exterior, the exterior stuff that in the picture. So basically, when we're thinking about it, the man has the weight that we have here. And the weight is going downward that acts on the floor. So the, there is a weight here from the man. And according to Newton equation, uh, the third law that every action has an action, so every force has an, a normal force acting on it. Because now it's in equilibrium. That man not going down, not breaking the, the, the floor, just in equilibrium so that means the weight here that's going down is the same as the the normal force so like if he has let's say 160 pounds weight that means the normal force is also equal 160 pounds weight okay that's basic example about the free body diagram and when you think about weight Let's make another small one, another example that might be kind of the same, but just to make it easier. Let's say a box, and that box was in the floor. But now we're thinking about it, we want to make a free body diagram to solve any statics problem. So basically, we're not considering the floor anymore, only consider the weight for the box. And we know that the, the, the box is in a steady condition, it's not moving or it's not falling down a hose by the floor. So that means we have also the normal force, which is in this, this static problem that it is on the floor, it's not moving. The weight is equal to the normal force, okay? Let's say also we have force that trying to push the box. Let's say someone is pushing it. So we can remove the person and we can for, for force. I hope that clear and that means that this force if it is in the floor that doesn't have any reaction it will be only this force taking the the, the box to the east side but what if that was in a rough there is there is a uh, a friction force that acting on that box so now in this point this force has another force that decreasing it which is fr the friction force okay that's kind of basic about it if there is a is it if it's in the rough floor you will have a friction force if there is no any friction the force is going to act directly there is no any force against it so that the the box is going to keep moving to the right all the time okay for example three that we have which is kind of a medium level that also let's say we have a box and the force might be someone who's pushing it from this way. Uh, just let's, let, let's make it easier. Let's make it someone pushing it, pulling it, pull the, the box to this way. Uh, we're going to make it like for the next videos, we can, we can make it harder uh, than that, but just to make it easier for everyone. Okay. So we know like someone here, let's say there was someone here that bought in this box, but we need to do the free body diagram. So we're not considered that man anymore. We have the force here that bought in the, the box to the right. We still have the weight for the box. We still also have the normal force on the, uh, the acts in the, in, the, in, the, in the box, okay? But this force to calculate it or to make it uh, easier when you calculate when you calculate it for any problems which we're gonna do it in the next videos is to break this force to let's make it a different color 
to two forces, one in x axis, x direction, and one in the y direction. Okay, so we will have fx and fy. Okay, there is an angle here that we're gonna make. Uh, if you if you know statics before, that basically let's say that's the first quadrant that's gonna be fx cosine theta and fy here. Let's give more area fy sine theta. Okay, so now you have fx that's in x direction. Both of you have n w and fy sine theta they're in the y direction and now you can if is that if that is an equilibrium equation you can get the let's say if you have the the weight unknown now you can get the weight by using the equations now we're going to talk about it in further videos uh, about how to solve uh, the free, any equilibrium problems about it okay so that's another way that you can see any uh free body diagram problems about it okay let's go for like kind of harder just college level just sometimes it's actually kind of tricky but let's let's take it by step by step okay so we have this road we they give us like kind of uh dimensions for it they give us there's a force here that portion it we have here this kind of pins so we're gonna go more forward next video i will explain more what is the shapes do uh because every shape has a different uh make a different way when you do that the, the free body diagram for it uh but let's let's take for this tool right now which i will show to you how to solve this problem or how to make a free body diagram for this problem okay the first thing first step that i want you to do is identify the object like identify what is inside the object we have here that the that there is a momentum force here moment force here we have this one, this pin, which is called pin support, one of the most famous uh, bins that you're gonna feel, one of the, the most famous supports that we, you're gonna see for any roads, uh, which is, if you see also here, there's a reaction. So basically for this one, when you, when we're gonna, later when we're gonna move it, it has an X direction and you'll have a Y direction. Okay. A, X, a y forces in the x axis forces in the y axis and if you look at this one which is has two let me make a different color see there's two like rolls which is make it roll down which is making the name of it is roller support support okay which is basically this one doesn't have any x forces there's no any forces in the x direction because basically that's a ruler uh nothing nothing may, there's no any forces happening in the x direction it only has um forces in the y direction which is we can say that could be y okay so now i identify the the object this step two two is a sketch the F, B, D, which is free body diagram, okay? When we sketch the free body diagram, we're not putting any of the supports on the picture that we have, okay? Now I have kind of like a basic one, but that doesn't matter, it's just like we're, to have it. Uh, we have, it's the same moment force here, Okay, is the same also dimensions here, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. What matters here is the forces. As I mentioned, we're gonna put here a x, there's a force in the x axis because of the pin support. And we have uh just notice that it's supposed to be y. Okay. Uh force in the y direction because of the pin support. Here we have a force that going up. Why? Because of the ruler support, and we still have the two kilo newton forces uh, that acts on it. Okay, if you have if you have everything right, see we have 
we have basically all the forces that we have we have the moment that we have so everything fine now we have a free actually a free body diagram that can help us to solve the problem which is this highlight the x that the forces in the x direction is ax and you have the two kilo newton uh, and we have for the y axis the y direction we have ay and by okay and yeah now you'll be good to go to solve the problems this video as i say is not for solving problems it's just for how to make a free body diagram and make it easier for you to solve any problem that you have with a free body diagram thank you so much for watching please subscribe for our uh, channel we're gonna go for more videos in depth on how to uh, solve these problems uh, free uh, for any uh, equilibrium equations and non equilibrium equations uh, by using the free body diagrams. And we're going to go more deeply in like, examples and how to solve some bunch of examples for any exam or anything you have uh, to do. Thank you so much for watching and have a good night.